Hello everyone, just wanted to give you an update on what we're expecting in southern Wisconsin for Friday and Friday night. And there is a chance of snow, but we're not talking about a lot of snow. So let's get you to the latest hour by hour forecast. We're starting at 5 a.m. Friday morning because it's about 5 a.m. The first couple of rain showers will start to pop up, but not many folks are going to be out at 5 a.m. So let's jump ahead a little bit to when more folks will be out. How about 8 a.m. of Friday morning? I want to mention the chance for some isolated rain and snow showers around Milwaukee, Madison by 8 a.m. But I think the better chance of encountering a rain snow mix, especially the, the chance, the best chance for some snow mixing with the rain is probably going to be around Monroe, Janesville, Lake Geneva, and Racine, Kenosha themselves, most likely just rain, maybe a few flakes of snow. Uh, but if you live south of Madison, south of Milwaukee, I would recommend, even if it's just rain coming down, giving yourself just a couple extra minutes to get to work or school, because even if it's just rain, even a light rain, that tends to slow the morning commute down just a little bit. But for Madison, Milwaukee, everywhere else, if you, as long as you don't live south of Madison or south of Milwaukee, I think it'll be a normal morning commute, maybe just some isolated rain showers around. I think the peak of the activity during the day on Friday is going to be the late morning hours, probably somewhere around 10, 11, noon. Notice how everything pushing a little bit farther to the north and west. Now a better chance of a rain-snow mix around the Madison area and Milwaukee. It's also going to be around lunchtime. Uh, it's going to start to get breezy, gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. So not much wind to start the day, but those winds will be picking up. But look what happens once we get past lunchtime. Already by 2 o'clock, going back to just the isolated rain and snow showers, it's also going to be about 2, 3 o'clock that we're going to be hitting our high temperatures. And notice a little more variety than usual across the area, because not only are a couple waves of low pressure working over us, but a stalled out front is over us as well. So it's probably going to reach the low 40s. And we've seen in Kenosha, but look at Viroqua, probably only topping out in the low 30s. And because it's going to be breezy, that's 20, 25 miles per hour, it's going to be feeling about 5 degrees cooler than these temperatures, so keep that in mind. Homebound commute. Yeah, got to mention that chance for some isolated rain and snow showers, but significant gaps. There will probably be many. It will have a dry drive home from work, but... We're not done yet. So an additional area of low pressure, a weak one, is going to work over us. So notice how as we get into Friday evening, when you might be wanting to go out for Friday night, notice how there's a better chance we start to see an uptick in the rain and snow showers. But also notice that once again, the best chance is going to be in the southeastern half of the area. It's looking drier north and west of Madison. The best chance is going to be Madison onto the south and east. I actually think temperatures are going to be a little bit colder uh, for Friday evening. So this is probably the better chance for some snow mixing in with the rain and maybe just a period of all snow, especially where temperatures can dip into the low 30s. But notice how there is still a temperature difference across the area. 40 in Kenosha, 28 in Viroqua at 11 o'clock Friday night. So do have to mention Madison onto the southeast, scattered rain and snow showers, just isolated activity for Friday night plans north and west of Madison. And then once we get through Friday evening, things are going to be quieting down. There'll just be less and less activity. And by 8 a.m. Saturday morning, I think that's it. The rest of Saturday is looking dry. So I did talk about rain and snow. So how much snow are we talking about? Well, it's going to be a half an inch at the most. And most probably are not going to see even a an inch of snow. Uh, to be honest, uh, this is looking at the model average right now, and the model average for many is just a dusting to a tenth of an inch. In fact, I've got to say, for places like Boscobel and Viroqua, I wouldn't be surprised if you miss out on the snow altogether and not even see a dusting of a snow. That is a possibility. You saw how there is going to be definitely be more precipitation to the south and east, and it's going to be that rain-snow mix. But Where's the sweet spot going to be in the snow? I think it's going to be where we have the, the combination of the coldest temperatures and the best chance of precipitation. So where we're most likely going to see those snow totals in that quarter inch to half inch rain are going to be places like Watertown, Janesville, Lake Geneva, and Monroe.